Today we play Super Sonic Odyssey. This is Super Mario Odyssey, but you are Sonic. You're faster than normal. You face off against Dr. Eggman instead of Bowser. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. In the skies above Peach's castle. So let's see how Super Sonic Odyssey starts. We have Dr. Eggman attacking Sonic up here. So instead of Bowser fighting with Mario, we have Dr. Eggman here, and he's breathing fire out of down there. Where is this fire coming from? Dr. Eggman, what are you doing? Oh boy, this is quite the dangerous showdown that we have over here. We've got Sonic. Wait, why are Sonic and Dr. Eggman fighting over Princess Peach? What's going on? Oh no, and Sonic gets hit by the cap and he goes flying. Princess Peach goes, Sonic! Dr. Eggman stomps on nothing over here because Sonic doesn't have a cap. Only Mario has a cap and cappy. Time for my wedding with Peach! Jealous Sonic! Who would have expected that Dr. Eggman would want to marry Princess Peach? <laughs> <laughs> so funny how he lifts up his cap like that. So now the game starts with Sonic down here and our good friend Cappy. So let's have a look at this. It's pretty cool to be starting the game with Sonic here instead of Mario. Why is Sonic sniffing the ground over here? Okay, and we're gonna be a fast hedgehog. I did increase Sonic's speed, so he should be running pretty quickly. Let's see. Okay, that does seem like a kind of fast speed to be running at over here. Wow, we're almost faster than Cappy here. Yeah, we almost got here before Cappy got here. What if I just... Ah, oh, I was hoping that I could jump past, but we can't do that. So, hello there, Cappy. Cappy's going to bring this Mario cap over to Sonic. Sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been attacked by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make matters worse, the Fiend has kidnapped my little sister. Oh, wait, I, I almost uh, forgot that we'd be seeing these guys instead of Bowser. I almost forgot that it was Dr. Eggman here. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. Sonic looks around. Oh, no. Mamma mia. Although now that I think of it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. If I, I could get us there, if only I could reach the top of Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by Bowser Monster's henchmen. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. That's such a good lesson. Let's see if we can help those two. Sonic nods. But wait, what's going on? I don't have a hat. Sonic, you don't even normally wear a hat. You know, that hat actually suits Sonic pretty well. What if Sonic just walked around with that hat? How about this? Wait, what is he gonna transform into? Because Sonic doesn't normally wear a cap. Is it gonna be invisible? Oh my goodness, Cappy just disappeared and became eyes. Now I just have eyes on my head. Oh my goodness, so we can just throw Cappy's eyes. Cappy is invisible. This is the invisibility cap. It almost looks like we have goggles or glasses on top of us. That's actually Here so goes. funny. Okay, let's get running now. Let's go nice and fast. Okay, yeah, because Sonic is pretty quick. And our running is going to be faster than doing long jumps and whatnot. So we basically just... Oh no, I hope the bridge comes up. I hope the bridge comes up and we don't die here. What's going to happen? Are we going to fall through the floor? Okay, it looks like we're not going to fall through the floor. Amazing, we can just keep running along like this. Yeah, we are very fast. We can basically jump past these guys here and let's run through here. Okay, this is going to be pretty fun playing through the game when we can move so quickly like this. And I wonder if it'll change how some things work in the game. Oh, and just eyes there, no cap. Oh, and look at this, Sonic is going to go inside the frog now. So we are now this froggy here. And so we can make some nice jumps by either shaking the controller or pressing the jump button. Oh, let's go like this. And just let me up here. Okay, let me come out of this frog now. Goodbye, frog. Oh, I actually didn't mean to ground pound on it. Oh, it actually is kind of surprising sometimes still to see how fast you move. I wonder if this is going to be difficult to control at some parts of the game. But it is pretty cool that we can move so quickly. Should I make Sonic move even faster? Because this is faster than normal, of course, but it is still controllable. Okay, so let's see how hard the boss fight is going to be. Okay, easy first hit so far. Oh, and you know what? It might actually be kind of easy to run and jump on this guy now. Oh, wrong one. Okay, we took damage. That's all right. Now get on the hat. There we go. Okay, and we just need one more hit on this guy. And there we go. You are defeated. Goodbye, Mr. Eggman. Wait, no, this isn't Eggman. Eggman is Bowser, actually. This guy is just Capper or Topper. I can never remember if his name is Capper or Topper. And we just want to head up here. And it's so funny to see that amp without Mario's cap on, because Sonic doesn't normally have a cap. So here we are, the Cascade Kingdom. It's so weird seeing this cutscene without Mario having a cap on right now, because normally Cappy is supposed to be on him, because otherwise, how would Mario capture the amp? But 
Sonic comes out over here in this iconic cutscene where we are starting the game, getting to the first main kingdom of the game after the Cap Kingdom, which I guess in a way is the second kingdom. So let's get going with our faster speed. I like how quickly we can run because it isn't too crazy, but it is still faster than normal. We can just run up to this guy, capture him here, come on over here, come on, pop on out, and let's just get this power moon. Oh! It's almost like we were so fast we could almost reach the power moon before the camera moved over for the cutscene showing us that the power moon is there. Our first power moon. Now this bridge is going to come down and we're going to be able to head that way and get some more power moons. So yeah, let's go get some more power moons. So right up here is going to be our airship and I guess we don't really want to do dives too often because dives are going to be a bit slower than how quickly Sonic normally moves. The same with long jumps. I think just running and jumping is probably the best way to get around or at least the most efficient way to get around so let's come over here we can capture this guy right here it's so weird how fast you are and you can basically catch up the enemy catch up to the enemies more quickly than expected and there we go we got that power moon chomp through the rocks okay so let's see where are we gonna run to next we probably want to get the dinosaur that is up here and then we can get up to the boss easily and then take on the boss Let's capture this dinosaur right here. And wait, the dinosaur doesn't have a cap. It only has those cappy eyes up there that you can barely see. Okay, so let's come on up like this. Let's go like this and come on and boost me up. And can we go there? Okay, nice, it worked, amazing. So I think this boss fight is actually going to be quite easy because we can very easily run out of the way if we need to, but we still get hit anyways. Oh my goodness, okay, let's go, 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 go. And now pop out, come on, go, 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 go. Now pop out, pop out, pop out, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, okay, how many tries did that take? That took several tries over there. Okay, let's get this heart. But look at how quickly we can run around Madam Brood here. We can basically make her dizzy with the significant speed at which we are moving. So let's go like this, capture it, very nice. Now go here, and come on, come on, come on, come on. Now just pop out, there we go. Oh, I actually wanted to collect some of these coins. Okay, but I guess we can go and collect some of those coins now. And, ay, 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 I was gonna say, you can't catch us now because we're so fast, but we actually did get caught there. Now is this the final hit? This should be the final hit, right? Oh, don't hit me though. Okay, now let's go. And there we go, Madam Brood is defeated. Nice quick boss fight. Goodbye, Madam Brood. And we probably won't be seeing her again unless we have to take her on in the Moon Kingdom, which I doubt we will have to do. But here is a nice multi-moon collected by Sonic. So we'll be able to go to the next kingdom. And it's cool to see Sonic floating around the multi-moon like this. Nice to be playing the game as Sonic, not only because it looks like Sonic, which is cool, but you're faster. I made Sonic faster. Oh, look at that! The chain chomp in the background has its mouth open. That's quite funny. Nice little chain chomps there. And, oh, and its mouth is still open, but we now have enough power moons to make it to the next kingdom. And this is such an incredible game, and it's so much fun to be playing it as Sonic. Soon in this video, I'm going to make Sonic even faster. A little while ago, we've done, actually, this must have been like two years ago now at this point. I used to make a bunch of videos that were every level makes Mario faster, every level makes Luigi faster, every level makes you jump higher, or go faster, or decreases gravity, but yeah, those are some fun videos to make. Wait a minute, what in the world is going on? Why is Mario's head here? This is so cursed. This is so incredibly cursed right now. And wait, does Mario look green? What in the world is going on? This is not what I expected. I actually accidentally made a mod like this once where it was Sonic, but Mario's head on Sonic's body. And I thought it looked incredibly cursed. I thought that'd be fun to make a video about. But look at this right now. That's what we're seeing right now. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. That is so cursed seeing Mario's hair on Sonic's body like that. That is so incredibly cursed. Oh, it's because there's this different cap that's being added. That's why it's there, I see. So that means that for this whole cutscene, we're going to have Mario's hair on Sonic, which just looks so strange. Okay, so I think being quick enough to make it to the bird in time should be relatively easy. Since we can just bounce up so high like this. Uh-oh. Oh boy, it might actually be a bit difficult to control. Okay, so we want to get to the bird up there. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? Where's the bird? No, the bird is going away. Where's the bird? Oh no, oh no, okay, okay. We're gonna chase after that bird then, that's okay. We can run quite quickly. So as long as we can find where the bird is, we should be able to outrun it. The only question is, can we jump high enough to make it to the bird? That is our only concern right now. Go, bird! Go! Oh no, we're so fast that it's actually a little bit difficult to control and I'm not moving the way that I'm used to moving. 
But let's see where's the bird. Oh, the bird is down there. The bird is down there. Go, bird. Come on. We gotta get it. There we go. Okay, we have to work very hard for this power moon. I'm surprised that we have to chase this bird all the way to here. But I guess now we could get this power moon here with Sonic. And while we are here, we might as well get this one since we are here. So we can grab this. Is this going to be difficult to get though? Because with our fast speed, it might actually be quite easy to fall off here. Yeah, you know, this is starting to get a bit scary, but we're still okay. I'm wondering if some parts of the game later on are gonna be more difficult with our faster speed. Is the game going to be easier or more difficult with a faster speed? Because in some ways, well, you can get from place to place more quickly, so you should be able to get things, some things, more easily. But if there's a part of the game where you need to be more controlled, then it could be, oh, oh, then it could actually be more difficult because you might accidentally fall off buildings and do stuff like this. Okay, but we want to head up here because there are two nice power moons for us to collect here. So let's just go like this. Very easy to get that one. And now we're going to head down this pipe and get the power moon that is down here. Where is it? Just right there. Perfect. And I did just recently play through Mario Odyssey with the Avatar mod where Mario has access to fire, water, wind, and earth. I am a bit familiar with the locations of some of the power moons now. So we're going to make our way across this way and there are going to be some power moons that we can get here which will be nice oh boy oh boy oh boy i almost didn't realize that those were mini goombas over there i thought wow look at these coins over here there are just some coins to collect here so can i go like this yeah that looks like a fine way to move and then we can just go get that quite quickly whoa we're sinking jump jump you know what it's nice because it seems like you do move through this sandy part quite quickly because you do have your fast base speed like this so we can just move like this we should be able to get up here whoa 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 whoa! what in the world that was very strange let's try that again what in the world is going on no our wall jump speed has been modified oh no that's not good okay you're sorry our wall jump height has been modified so i'm going to have to edit that because i accidentally changed that so our wall jumps are well basically non-existent. I must have changed that by accident when I was changing up some mods. So let's grab that on top of the stone archway. That'll be nice. Then we'll come out of that guy. And let's just come across here and we'll have to get up here, but we basically can't use wall jumps. Yeah, so I guess in this game for some reason right now, Sonic can't do wall jumps. Okay, want one of these guys. Thank you very much. Be careful, then come here. Explode this one. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. And you know what? We could take one more of those. Oh, wait, but we can't do wall jumps. So what are we even going to do to make it across to the next one? I can probably get to there if I do a nice jump like... Oh, no, my triple jump didn't work. Okay, I wanted to do this one, two, and triple jump to there. And then we could easily get that one. Okay, which is nice. On the leaning pillar. We probably could have done it with a long jump too. But with a long go. jump... We're not going... Oh! Oh, okay, this is fine. But I don't think that we can actually make it up there since we have basically no wall jump height! We're dead. Okay, so since we have basically no wall jump height, we are going to have to do some parts of this slightly differently. So where do we want to go? I guess we'll come up here now. Wait, did I get this power moon yet? Because I know that I broke the crate earlier, but I don't know... Yeah, I didn't actually collect this power moon. Okay. So let's make sure that we collect that power moon before we continue on. So we can just basically jump across there. Seems like we're gonna have to do a lot of these backflips like this. No, and our HP is so low, that's so sad. Okay, and let's go into the 2D section and let's see. How cool is that? How cool is that? How cool is that? Just a cupcake made this. So just a cupcake made the 2D sprites of Mario replace with these 2D Sonic sprites and this looks fantastic. This is so good. Oh, that's so cool. We can even crouch. And I also do like that we are still quite fast. Okay, so we are going to get the power moon that is down here also. And can we run back? I don't want to fall. 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 Let's be safe. Let's go. Oh, boy. That was scary. Okay, and we're up here. 
And get the moon. Get the moon. There we go. Okay, amazing. We got wait, what is on our nose? Oh, you know what's on our nose? Oh my goodness, that is so strange. It looks like we are really allergic to cactus spikes. Because normally that's supposed to be on Mario's nose, but it's so funny that we are a Sonic character, but we still have Mario's nose with the pokey thing showing up because we didn't change that. Yeah, so there's the pokey thing on Sonic's nose. How can he even see? Okay, so we need four more power moons. So you know what would be a nice one? We could get one from this Sphinx right here. Let's just have a chat with this Sphinx. Greetings, Traveler. What does the thieving monster want from here? Ring. Not sand, not freezy treat. You're correct, it wasn't much of a riddle. I like how the Sphinx moves. Okay, now let's run in here. Now we can, of course, collect a lot of coins here. And we can also get this Power Moon. And these coins could be useful because we are going to be buying some Power Moons in later kingdoms. But now, what other three Power Moons do we want? What other three Power Moons will we get? I guess we can collect these sheep quite- ah! I was gonna say quite easily and quickly. I guess not if you're too fast, you just run off and die. I know that there's a cactus that we can move somewhere around here. There's a cactus somewhere around here that we could capture, and then if we move it, then we get a power moon. But where was it? It was somewhere around here, I believe, because I remember it being somewhere near the poisonous lake. The poisonous lake is there. Bad we can't use that. Oh, this must be the one right here. And I think this is even faster than rolling. Yeah, rolling does not seem... Rolling is almost as fast, I think, but I think that our running is still faster. Okay, so if we do that, we can get a power moon right here, which will be a lovely one. Now we just need two more. Yes, we could go for some of these sheep here, and that might be the best way. I think we need three sheep in here, right? Okay, there's one. How many do you need? My beautiful sheep, but you didn't tell me how many sheep there were. Maybe it could be a good idea to come in here. There are probably one or two power moons that we could get here, and we need just two power moons. So this might be a good idea if we can get up here. Okay, nice, and you can just run up here, which is nice. Now, where are the power moons on? There isn't just a power moon back here, is there? Are there one or two power moons in this section? I can't remember. I actually haven't been here in a very, very long time. So hopefully we don't fall into the poison. Hopefully we can just... Run along up here and get the power moons that we need and want. Wait, is there a power moon down there? Yes, okay, there's one right down there. So you know what? Let's get that one first. And are we able to make it back up? Or should I actually catch a bullet bill? Okay, nice. We can just make it back up. That's fine. Now, don't fall, Sonic. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, because if we had to jump off of the wall, then as you guys already know, our wall jumps like this give us basically no height. If we try and do this, we basically fall downwards. So, whoop, whoop, let's just grab this first. There we go, okay, now we have enough power moons for the next kingdom. Now we can speed up Sonic, so let's teleport back to the Odyssey and let's get out of here. Okay, so Sonic is now a bit faster, which might make him seem even more like Sonic. And hopefully our wall jumps are now fixed and we also should be able to Jump a little bit higher! Look out, Goombas! What are you doing here, you little munchkins? Okay, let's go like this. We'll come here, because this is a nice place to go. Then we can just come around like this. It's so weird just seeing the zipper moving by itself, because there's no cap on it, because Sonic doesn't have a cap. Oh, but this faster run speed really is quite nice. I do enjoy being able to run this quickly. Oh, uh, that is so nice being able to run that quickly. That is very nice, actually. Wait, is my wall jump now high enough to let me do this? Ah, we can almost reach up. Oh, no. Okay, I was hoping that we'd be able to make it up there, but it'd be quite difficult to do it that way, at least. Let's just come in here. We can grab this power moon. And you don't really need very many power moons in this kingdom. In fact, you can get the power moons that you need quite quickly. Wait! Wait! Can Sonic actually swim? Because doesn't Sonic drown quite quickly if he's underwater in Sonic games. Well, I guess we'll come down here. We could grab the power moon that is right here. Oh, I don't know if this is even the quickest one to get because we might be able to go and get another power moon that we could get even more quickly. But yeah, there are just so many power moons that you could collect in this kingdom. There's so many power moons that are just ready for the taking. Okay, so from the broken pillar, now we only need three more. Okay, so let's get Sonic out of this water. Because Sonic doesn't want to be in water for very long. And then... We can just head up and take out the boss quite easily. Well, hopefully we can make it to there. Let's... Oh boy! Oh boy! Even trying to do a triple jump to make it to there is a bit tricky. Because of all this speed that we gained so quickly. So let's go one, two, 
Oh boy, I think just using a double jump might be a good idea. Not even trying for the triple jump, so we can go like this. And there we go. Okay, we don't even need a triple jump to make it up there. But yeah, your speed is crazy sometimes. Let's come up here. Okay, we're already starting to have some difficulty with Sonic speed. Okay, let's take on this boss. Is this going to be a hard boss or an easy boss? Oh, I could probably jump on his head after he throws this, but you know what? I've got to go like this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is wild. Where are you going to throw? Where are you going to throw? You don't know where we are. We don't even know where we are. Okay, let's just go like this. Okay, that's a nice, safe way to do it because we don't want to die to this boss. Let's just try and stay away from the boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you running to? What if I run all the way over here? Oh, now I'm going to run over here. Now I'm going to run over here. Man, when you're this fast, the bosses, they just have no chance of catching up to you because you're way too quick. And I almost ran into the spinny saw blade hat. But... You can get some of these coins here. Oh, and I guess I could also use Happy to collect some of those coins for us. Oh boy, the way that the camera keeps turning by itself like that so that you're always facing the boss. It can make things difficult, but Come here, jump on it. And where are you now? Right there! Oh man, even though we missed him, we were able to jump back up and squish his little rabbit head. And he is defeated. And we're going to get a multi-moon, which is very nice. So we have enough power moons to make it to the next kingdom. So this is a nice quick kingdom. Get the power moon. All right, so here's Sonic in the Wooded Kingdom. This looks like a place where he would belong. This kingdom actually does... Wait, wait, wait. Can we just catch the rabbit quickly like this? Oh my goodness, look at how quickly we can get that rabbit. Nice try, rabbit. But yeah, you can't run away from Sonic. Sonic is just way too fast to run away from. Okay, so I think... This is the stone that we want to carry. Wait, this isn't the one with the power moon. Where's the one with the power moon? Oh, I think that's actually the one with the power moon. So we want to go like this... And there we go. Then we get the power moon if we can collect it. Very nice. Rolling rock in the woods. And you know what? I guess we could also buy a power moon. This just looks so much like this could be a real Sonic level. Okay, so let's buy this power moon for 100 coins. We have 369 coins. Now we're down to 269 coins, but we have another power moon. So that is a worthy trade. And you know, a good trade is when both people benefit from it. Like if you go to a coffee shop and you pay however many dollars it is for a coffee, they give you a coffee, you give them money, both of you say thank you, because both of you are happy about the trade that just happened. Okay, so let's see if we can go up like this. Okay, that's such an easy way to make it up with these, uh, with these boosted jumps that we have, and then we can just get this power moon easily. Man, this speed is, ah, I was gonna say is quite nice. Look out, fire bro. We're going here. Let's go. Man, when you do cap throws, it just seems like you move so slowly because your running is so much faster. Okay, now I know there's a guy that we want to capture right here. Well, let's capture this guy over here. Whoa, did his eyes just change color? I'm not sure if his eyes just changed color. Okay, but can I make it up to here? Let's come out like that and get this right here. There we go. Just bunk right into that. And we can get this power moon. Lovely. Climb the cliff to get the nut. And I think think that if I did it correctly, then 2D Sonic should also be faster. But wait, this right here, it isn't a 2D section. For, well, it's 2D in some sense, but you don't become the 2D sprite of Sonic. It's 2D in that there are invisible walls that prevent you from going in certain, uh, in certain ways. Why do I always get hurt by the spideys? Wait, they're called spine. No, not spinies. Fuzzies. Why am I calling them fuzzies? What's going on? Don't kill me! Don't kill me. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Just let me up here. Let me up here. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Do not kill me. Okay, just let me go here and get that. There we go. Now we get healed up. Oh my goodness. Those fuzzies are giving us so much trouble. The last time that I was here, I actually made it through without taking any damage. So, yeah, this time we're struggling a bit. Oh my goodness. We really are struggling a bit. Let me hear. Oh, no. One HP again, but that's okay because we can just get up there and get healed again. That's twice that we almost died in this fuzzy pipeline here. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so where are, where are we going to go? Man, I really like these jumps and this speed. Quite nice. Let's go, baby. Okay, now who do we want to capture? Okay, we want to capture one of you guys. So, you know, you come here. Let me capture you. There's a power moon force right up here. Wow, when you capture one of these guys, it just seems like you move so slowly because I'm so used to moving so much faster as Sonic that now when we're one of these guys, it just seems like it is so slow. Okay, so now we could come out of this guy because we don't need this guy anymore. So now we could go with our faster speed. Oh no. Okay, well, I guess I have to accidentally go through the maze now. Well, I don't have to do this, but 
Ah, man, I'd actually like to go back. I think it actually would be better to go back. Yeah, we could come out like this, go here, and there we go. Okay, that was probably one of the biggest slowdowns that we've had in this playthrough so far. Good thing that we didn't die there. Now you, oh, I almost ran off there because there's no fence there. Eat my cappy, and I will bounce on you like that and get this power moon. But first, let's just jump across this way and get this one. Go like that. And there we go. That's such a nice way to get it. The nut at the dead end. And man, this speed is wild. It's so nice that you can move so quickly, but sometimes it is a bit difficult to control. Okay, how many more power moons to go? We need a few more power moons. You know what? I don't know if this is going to be a good idea because this path starts to appear like this, but we can move faster than it can move. You know what? Let's try this. Oh no! I don't know if that was a good idea. Let's come here. Let me up here. Okay, this is fine. Now just let me up here. Oh, I thought that I would bonk into it and we would get the nut, but that's fine too. I think a good way down is just come over here. And you know what? Since we're so fast, I don't know if we even need this switch or if we can just run like that. Oh, no! Come back! Come back! Come back! Oh, yes! What a save! Okay, that was lovely that that worked. I'm very happy with how that worked. Now let's just come here. I'll grab you. Come, come, come. Good. Now let me up here. Is this where I want to go? Where's the, you know what, that I want? I want the power moon this over here. There's gonna be the power moon here. Give me that power moon. Give me that beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Hmm, but do I need to keep this guy? Because I don't know. You know what? Since we thought about it for a moment, we could just go like this. Let me up there! No, we didn't reach. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, let's just keep going in a circle. We can come up this way. That's fine also. Because we do want to get up here so that we can get that. But I don't know if we can get that high without this guy. Because normally you want to use that guy. But our Sonic can jump pretty high. So I'm not sure if we'd be able to reach it. Okay, there's a nice checkpoint for us. And now all we have to do is face this boss. And you know what? I think this boss is actually going to be harder than normal with our faster speed. Okay, but, but, we just gotta play it safe. Come here, jump on him. There we go, okay. I just gotta throw Cappy at him, throw Cappy, and just gotta jump on him wherever he is! Wherever he is, okay. Now, I'd like a heart. Are there any stones around here that we can break for a heart? Okay, let's do this. There we go, this is nice. And now, if we accidentally walk into him, and we don't immediately die, but there we go. Ground pound on his head and he is defeated. We're gonna get a multi-moon for defeating him. Then we can go to the next kingdom and we can continue the game. So that is absolutely beautiful, splendid. Thank you for the multi-moon. And let's just run around quickly, collect some of these coins. Oh, I should have replaced the coins with the rings. That could have been a cool addition because Sonic collects rings, not coins. So Cappy says that we can now go to the Metro Kingdom, but as some of you may know, we are, of course, going to be attacked by Bowser right now. And by Bowser, I, of course, mean Dr. Eggman, who wants to marry Princess Peach. <laughs> it's funny seeing Sonic nodding like that. Yeah, maybe this will be our opportunity to catch up to Dr. Eggman and save Princess Peach early on in the game. Wait, where's Dr. Eggman? Let's see him. He's gotta be on this ship, right? Where is he? I don't see him yet. And what a cool ship that we have. Oh, there he is! There's Dr. Eggman! Walking like Bowser with his big stumps there. It's funny how his head is floating up like that. And here's Sonic on the Odyssey. That doesn't even look strange to me anymore because we've already been playing as Sonic for a while. Can we make this jump across like this? Let's see. Go one, two, and nice! We don't have to activate those little cloud platforms. We can just go straight to Dr. Eggman here. Hello there. He looks a bit lanky. I like how he laughs. Funny how his head bobs up and down like that. And he jumps down. And here we are! Sonic versus Dr. Eggman! He looks quite large, doesn't he? Jim Carrey did a fantastic job playing Dr. Eggman in the Sonic movie. Mario, I don't have time for you. I'm busy planning my wedding. Don't you know how stressful that is? Wait, Dr. Eggman, he isn't normally trying to steal Amy Rose or something like that, is he? Princess Peach almost looks like she's out of place in this game right now. Because we have all these Sonic characters here. We have Sonic and Dr. Eggman. Funny how he holds out his hand like that for the cap. Oh! And look at that. He has the cap on his head now. <laughs> Laugh is pretty funny. Oh, and this should probably be kind of easy since we're so quick. 
Yeah, we can just go like this. Can I also move quickly like this? Yeah, we can also move very quickly like this. What if I just jump to him and start hitting him like that? Oh! Wow, that's actually kind of surprising that before he even made it to the third jump, we were already able to make it over to him and we're able to start punching him already. Okay, so this might be nice being able to move this quickly. I think that is going to make this boss fight a bit easier. Let's go like that. Okay, nice. And that heals us up. Okay, let's see. Where are you going now? Going here? What if I just... Ah, I wanted to dive into him right away. Oh, maybe he only does two jumps normally. For some reason, I was thinking that he does three jumps. Maybe that's only in the later fights. Oh my goodness. Wait, where's your head? Oh, your head's inside there. It's like he's a turtle. It's like Dr. Eggman is a turtle. And he hides his head inside his shell body. We don't need that. Don't need to worry about these. Just want this one. Let's grab that. And where are you going, Dr. Eggman? My little Iggy Wiggy friend. Oh, he does do three jumps there. Okay, but let's just get him like this. And are you defeated? Or do we have to do one jump? Wait, why are you spinning around like that, Dr. Eggman? You don't have a tail, so how would you be able to hit me like that? And onto his ship he falls. And he's back with Princess Peach. Only we can save Princess Peach right now. But it isn't that simple. He pulls his head back out of his shell. And what's he gonna do now? He's gonna start firing at us. Oh, I like how his hat just disappears. Where is your head? Oh, he keeps putting his head back into his shell body. Fire! And of course, the cannon balls are being shot out at Sonic. This almost looks like something that you'd see in a Sonic game. Lots of explosions and big machines and robots and cannonballs. Oh, but then there's Princess Peach. She's just so out of place in this game. See what you're up against, Sonic? Yeah, Dr. Eggman is known for having all kinds of high-tech machines and giant robots that Sonic has to fight against. So, we're going to end up here in the Lost Kingdom, and I wonder if this is going to be easier or more difficult, because normally this is a kingdom that you can just speedrun through pretty quickly, but there's this one jump right here that is normally a little bit difficult to do. It might be very difficult for us since we have an incredibly high speed right now, so can I do a double jump here? Let me get up here. Perfect! We made it up. Okay, that's actually amazing. I'm so glad that that worked. Okay, you gotta get out of our way. Jump like this. That's perfect. Now wait, is there a power moon here? I can't remember if this is a power moon or something else. If we could just get the spot, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and last time I was here, I was thinking, wait, are the power moons in this kingdom actually yellow or are they a different color? And I guess they are yellow. Okay, so let's come here. Sonic will be able to make his way up here. There will be a power moon for us up at the top over here. Oh, and I forgot that our wall jumps actually bring us up a little bit higher now. Okay, we made a little mistake there. Okay, but we still made it, so that's nice. Now, the power moon that we want is up here, I believe. Yep, there it is, right on top of the tree. Very nice. Enjoying the view of Forgotten Isle. I don't want to fall. I wanted to get the checkpoint flag. Oh, well, I guess we fell. That's all right. Not the end of the world. We could come up here. And we don't want to scare away that little bird, so let's- or well, not bird, it's a butterfly. I don't know why I called it a bird. But, go. And there we go. Okay, we can just grab it like that. Let us get this power moon, that's perfect. Now, we want to jump down to here. Get it! No! That's so much worse! Oh my goodness, not only did we fall, but we had Cappy taken. Ah, uh, this can't be going much worse. I don't think that could have gone any worse than it did. That is horrible. Oh, and I end up over here, I guess. Well, I guess it's fine that it teleported me to here, because now we can just come up here and make our way to Cappy, which shouldn't be too bad, I guess, especially since we have our higher jump. I almost went into the poison there. Okay, it looks like we were actually able to make it over to Cappy quite quickly, because now we can just go like that, and then we can take our Cappy back. So luckily for us, that isn't too much time lost. And now... We should be able to finally head over to this power moon, which is what we tried to get earlier. And man, the higher jump height combined with the faster speed makes it quite nice to move around in kingdoms like this and easily collect power moons. Okay, so there's another power moon. Now there's going to be a power moon just behind us here up on this tree. What's a nice way to that? Let's just go like this to be safe. Now don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Good job not dying. Very good job not dying. Would have been so sad if we died right after that. Okay, let's go like this. Now, explode these rocks for me, please. Maybe over here. Okay, I gotta do that one more time because I didn't do that from a perfect angle. So you can come right there. And where we can go, we can come up here and pick it up onto this ground pound here because there's a power moon for us in here. After this, we need three more. We're getting that one to this side. 
right here, and then we need two more. There's one just over the edge right here. So now after this, we only need one more. And I've got an idea for one that we could get there. Two nearby that we could get. Oh, and that's there. Okay, and that's there too. I kind of didn't need that. We could have just jumped up, which is fine. We could get the one that's in that cage, or we could get the one that is right under here. So let's go for one right there. Okay, and we're going to die right now, which is fine. That's all right. Oh, oh, and it brings us back to the Odyssey. That's perfect. Okay, so it's actually great that we didn't get that checkpoint flag up there. If we got the checkpoint flag up there, up at the top of the hill, or mountain, whatever you would call that, then we would have to quick teleport back to here, and that would take a little bit of time. But luckily, we didn't get that, so when we died, we just respawned right back at the Odyssey, so that saves us a bit of time. Almost like we're speedrunning this game. So now, after all of that time, we are finally heading to the Metro Kingdom. And some parts of this kingdom are going to be quite different, too. Especially some of the speedrun skips. Okay, so normally there's a cool jump that you could do across here. What if we just go... Oh, no, I did not have enough speed there. Yeah, I kind of ran into the fence that time. So let's see if we can make this jump nicely like that. There we go. Now we have enough speed. Okay, so let's come over here. It'd be nice if we could make it up this. Slide down there, go like this, bounce off. Oh, and wall jump should help us even more. Yeah, so that should be even easier now. Now we just want to make it basically over there. Come on. Nice. Okay, and just come on up. Grab that power moon. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, girder sandwich. Nice that we could get that one. Wait, was there another power moon that I forgot about? I'm not sure if there's another power moon that I'm forgetting about that we were supposed to get. Okay, normally you want a long jump, but our regular jump is also quite fast, and it also goes quite high. Now we can just come on up here. Oh, and that's funny seeing the Mario face for the amp there, basically. So let's go like this, I think. Oh, that's a nice way to get it. Yes, it is. Please don't fall. Please. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, now how do we make it back up from here? What's the way to make it back up since we fell here? Oh, no. Oh, oh, it looks like we can go here, actually. Okay, but you don't want to die. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. Don't want to fall off either. Nice if we didn't die and we didn't fall off. Okay, let's kick that. Go here. Zap on up here. Now, just make your way across to this building. And in this section, this was incredibly tough in Shadow Clone Odyssey. This was by far the hardest part of Shadow Clone Odyssey when we did that. So this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, like that's fine like that. Just come here. Come. 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 Look out, little Goombas. That's fine. Now hold on. Was there somewhere over here that we wanted to climb up on? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we started climbing. Okay, so that's perfect. So let's just climb up. Climb up, Sonic. Climb up, Sonic. Oh, and I remember I made a mod where I was editing uh, Mario's climb speed. That was quite funny. Okay, can I grab onto that? Please, can I please get up somehow? Okay, let's go like this. Let's just climb up a little more. Let's jump off there, jump off that. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Not so difficult, is it, Sonic? Now from here, what can we do? Maybe we can go like this? Nope, 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 nope. Can I just actually go across like this? No, that's... That seems like such an inefficient method. I imagine that there would be faster ways of doing that. But hey, I guess we've got it. And maybe now we can... That's not where I wanted to go. Okay, you know what? Yeah, sure. Maybe running across this way is the better way. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We could have just jumped straight to that door. Hey, that strategy works too. And we... Whoops. Oh boy, I was worried that the game would freeze. But yeah, and we get a checkpoint flag, which is great. And we can come up here and face this Mecha Wiggler boss. Hello, Mecha Wiggler. I'd like to battle you, please. Let's just get a few nice shots on it here. Come on, get all them, 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 get all them. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! There we go, we got okay. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to get it and it would take an extra round to face the boss. But that's okay, we were able to do that. Okay, now where shall I go? Where shall I go? We can go like this. Oh boy, it's hard to do a triple jump because our speed is so high. We can move so incredibly quickly that it is actually a little bit difficult to move in a straight line and be able to actually do a triple jump. Okay, so now let's see, where's this little wiggler going to go? Okay, you wanna come through again? Okay, that's fine, that's fine, come through, I don't mind. 
I'm just gonna be ready to attack you. I'm gonna start attacking you soon. Hopefully we can do it quite quickly. Okay, so let's see. Are you gonna have those orbs come out? Have the orbs come out? Okay, don't really care for the orbs. I just want to attack that. I just want to attack you as soon as I have the chance. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, now just one more. Where's the last one? Oh no, the last two. Go. No! It stopped! Oh no! Oh, that is so sad. That hasn't happened in a while. Recently, I've been able to always take it out in just uh, one, or sorry, the two rounds like that. It's so nice when you can do that. It saves so much time because then you don't have to watch this guy running around like this anymore. It does add a bit of time, which is sad when you're trying to do a speed run. So sad, actually. It's not just sad. It is so sad. And now, let me just get you. Let me just get you. Just stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? There we go. Now we should be able to take it out. Now just get a lot of shots here. Wait, can I attack it or no? Okay, yeah, what's going on? I'm thinking, wait, when are we going to start attacking? But there we go. Now it's defeated. And we'll get a multi-moon. And it's going to be daytime in New Donk City in the Metro Kingdom. And we'll be able to get some more power moons. Go to the next kingdom and complete the game. But first, we need some more power moons in this kingdom. So, Sonic, let's just run around quickly. New Donk City. Oh, I guess that heart doesn't really matter since getting a power moon slash multi-moon heals you anyways. But... There's another nice multi-moon for Sonic. What's Sonic gonna say? <laughs> so here we are, Sonic in the daytime. I like how his tummy is checkered like that. All right, let's go and collect some more power moons. Now that it is daytime, we should be able to get a nice power moon there. If we can just walk around that corner. There we go, secret girder tunnel. And there are a few power moons that you actually do need to collect in this kingdom. We probably don't need to use that amp, right? Can we just run up nicely like this? Oh, we might not make it. We might not make it. Oh, nice. We made it. Okay, that's fine that we got that. Okay, so you know what? Let's bounce up here. Whoa, that was a weird sound that Sonic made. That sounded like quite the aggressive grunt. Okay, so we want to head up this way, and then we can just ground pound right there for a power moon. Perfect. Very nice power moon. Who piled garbage on this? And now there's one of these that we want to grab. We could grab this right here. If we could just throw in that direction. Now flick me there. Whoa, that was weird how we went there. And land right there. And then we'll just sit down right away. Sonic's sitting beside this man. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm Sonic. You're the first person. I don't know if I'd really consider Sonic a person. He's a hedgehog. Okay, but there's a nice power moon for us. Okay, let's get out of here. And what one do we want next? You know what? We could head... In here, I guess. I think it's 10 coins to play this game, right? Well, I didn't mean to jump on your wall. I just wanted to speak with you, actually. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's play for a power moon. Okay, and it's after the hearts. Okay, so let's see. After hearts, go. No! Ah! I shook the controller, but it was too slow. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. I was really hoping that we'd be able to rush through. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready this time. Let's go after hearts. Okay, after hearts. Ready? Go. That is completely wrong. Oh. You know what? I actually don't mind that. That's actually kind of cool that we got that, but that's not the prize that I wanted. So let's try again. Let's try again. After hearts. Okay, after hearts. Go after hearts now. And now just take your time. Go after hearts now. There we go. I almost missed that one, actually. But there we go. We got it. Wait, what's that? Oh, those are the eyes down there. Yeah, those must be the eyes from Cappy, because we have an invisible Cappy. Okay, and there is, of course, going to be the power moon in here. Let's just run in here, run along this way, grab that one. It's so nice how fast you are. Okay, and we already have more than half of the power moons that we need for this kingdom. And it's so nice that we could walk around quickly through the kingdom like this. Let's come here. There are going to be one or two power moons that we could get nicely here. You know what, let's do this. And this should be easy, right? Look, we're already almost at the power moon after this jump here. And... No problem at all making it to this power moon, even though we jumped past it. Pushing through the crowd, more like jumping up quickly through the crowd. Okay, so let's go up here. And we can bounce along like this. So let's just go like this, like this, like this, and... Whoa, I almost ran off without getting the power moon. Okay, but there we go, we got that power moon. High over the crowd, there's another one that we got. Now let's come down and exit from here. I guess we could talk to Mayor Pauline, and she can help us out a little bit. Oh, okay, I was worried that the game would freeze. Okay, but that's very nice. You want me to, uh, oh, why are you calling me Mario? I'm actually Sonic. You want me to speak to some of the musicians? Okay, I'll speak to some of the musicians. You're gonna give me a power moon, right? 
I'll take the power moon from the drummer. Oh, and in Super Mario Odyssey, but you breathe fire. It's so funny what happened when you breathe fire on the drummer. He just starts drumming faster and faster and faster. He drums so quickly. Uh, the speed is actually very nice. Okay, so let's go here like this, make it across. There'll be two power moons to get here. We could get this one right there from ground pounding on this. And we can speak to the bassist here also. And then there are going to be a few other power moons that we could get. There are, hold on, three other power moons that I can think of right now. If we teleport to near, <coughs> excuse me, near the top of New Donk City Hall. But let's teleport up here to New Donk City Hall rooftop. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There might be more than I thought even. Okay, let's jump to there first. Okay, we could make it to here quite easily and grab this one. Perfect, okay. How do they take out the trash? Oh, and we only need three more, and I think there are three relatively easy ones around here. We can just go like this. There's the one up at the very top, then the one floating above the pool, and then there's the one that we ground pound nearby. So we should be good. Let's see. Climb on up, Sonic. Come on up, Sonic. Okay, come on up some more. Okay, here's this one, and then there's gonna be the one there, and then the other one. And then we should be great after that. Oh wait, and we probably don't even have to do a ground pound roll. We can probably just jump like this. Cause yeah, we have more than enough speed to make it to this one. Nice glittering above the pool. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we just want to ground pound around here. Yeah, all right, that was right on the spot. Okay, amazing. And that's enough power moons make it to the next kingdom so let's go back to that's not the odyssey okay but since i teleported to the wrong spot i think it actually is faster to just take this up than to teleport up to the odyssey from there let's just go like this and there we go now we'll be able to put our moons in the odyssey and we'll be able to go to the next kingdom here we are the snow kingdom a nice cold place for sonic now i'm not sure if we'll be able to make the jump to back there oh and sonic even looks a little bit frosty here so let's see if we can jump to there Go and no way that is way too far oh and we slide down oh and we're in some cold water here that's not good maybe if we could do a nice triple jump we'd be able to make it to there but it'd be very difficult to make a triple jump because we have to go at a high speed okay so i just tried a few times and it looks like that jump would be a bit difficult to make so instead let's run along this way the way that we're moving it feels like we're playing an actual Sonic game, the way that we're moving so quickly like this, except for when you throw Cappy. When you throw Cappy, things just slow down for a moment. But wait, oh, and right here is Captain Toad. Okay, we were able to make it over to him quite quickly. Captain Toad and Sonic, what a strange crossover. Not something that I expected to see, I have to admit that. But where we want to go now is, of course, in here. Oh, and you really do go so slow when you throw Cappy, because that does slow you down quite a bit. Let's come down here. And... We're now here. These guys are a bit startled to see Sonic, maybe because they're more used to seeing Mario. And let's see how high we can get just by going like this. Oh! Oh, I can basically do this. Oh no! That's not working as intended, okay, but... Okay, that was a weird way to get it. I was hoping that we'd be able to do a better jump and just get up high, but that also works fine. And we should also be able to do this since our... Wall jumps are a little bit better. No, no, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Okay, so let's try this. Go like this. Bounce. Go like that. And bring me up there. Okay, that's fine. That also is possible with just regular Mario without your stats being adjusted at all. But uh, with this Sonic, it is a little bit... I guess it's easier to make it, but let's head in here and buy a Power Moon. Uh, I'd like to buy a Power Moon, please. It's so funny, as soon as this shop loaded, we are already right up against the shopkeepers. Yes, I'd like to buy this for 100 coins, thank you. Yes, there's another Power Moon, now let's run out of this shop. How quickly will we run out? Let's see. Okay, we run out quite quickly, and we actually do want to get back up there, because there is something to... Come on, get up there, Sonic. There actually is... Good reason to be here. Okay, because there is one other power moon that we could get over here. Let's just run along like this. And around here, there's another power moon for us right there. Perfect. Okay. Shining snow in the town. Okay, so that is five power moons collected. So it looks like we need about five more. Let's go here first. Now, what ones do we get here? Oh, I remember what ones we have to get over here. Come along this way. Let's go like this. Okay, that was a fine way to go. Now, can we get up high here or no? Let's see. Oh, perfect. And there we go. That's a nice and easy power moon. And we have to get rid of all those spinies that are going to be there. So can I go like this? 
Let's just push all the Spideys off with our wind breath like this. Hey, okay, goodbye to all of you. Hey, okay, one more to go, and there we are. Okay, super easy power moon. Let's just pop out of here. Come on up. There we go, and we got this power moon. Beautiful. Okay, now we need three more, I think. Okay, let's go down here, because there should be an easy two power moons that we could get here. Oh, that's right, that's right. This is this section. Okay, and... Now that we are going to be Goombas, it just seems like we are moving so much more slowly because I'm used to how quick we were moving as Sonic. Right now, it seems like this is very, very slow. Okay, let's just go like that. Now that icicle will come down. Come on down, okay, and just get up onto that switch. We can pop out and get that power moon. Hopefully we don't, whoop. I gonna say, hopefully we don't accidentally fall off or something, but there we go, dive right into that power moon. Ice dodging Goomba stack. Now don't fall, don't fall, Sonic. And it's slippery, so this is a bit scary too. Let's just go like this. And... Oh, easy! I didn't even have to use Cappy there! We were just able to jump across from one ice platform to the next. Okay, so we only need one more Power Moon, and you know what I think will be a nice one? We could go here, and then we could either collect the five Moonshine Shards, or we could climb up to the very top. And to be honest, I think climbing up to the very top might be a little bit easier, so you could just... Come up here, come on up, come on up. Hey, you, come on up. Okay, let's go. Now you, help me up! Help me up! Okay, fine, I'll just do wall jumps like that. You help me up here. Okay, now let's just climb across like this and look how quickly Sonic's going here. Okay, let's just climb up there. And just grab this one right here. And that's enough power moons for here. So we can go to the next kingdom. Let's teleport to the Odyssey. Goodbye. Whoa! What in the world? Why is this showing up here? Wait, is this showing up because I teleported away after we got the power moon? What in the world? This is so weird. I've never seen this before. This is such a strange glitch. I've actually never seen this before. I have no idea what's going on. That was very strange. After that cold kingdom, next up is the warm seaside kingdom. All right, so let's just run in here and grab a power moon here quickly. I think we have to ground pound around here. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, that was great. So yeah, we could just get this power moon. Oh, oh, Sonic's face looked a bit dark there. I guess it's because of the shadows. And by shadows, I don't mean characters like Shadow, who is in... The Sonic franchise. Now what's a nice way to go here? We could go like this. Come on up. No, we missed. Okay, let's try again. Let's go like this. And now we definitely can't miss it this time. Perfect. There we go. Ride the jet stream. More like do a bunch of wall jumps. Because that's what we did. We didn't do any jet stream riding there. Whoops. Accidentally ran off. Which is, I think, starting to become a common theme now that we are this fast. Oh boy, and it's so hard to do a triple jump, actually, because you have to be moving very, very fast to do a triple jump. Even doing a double jump is difficult. Go like this. One, two, and look at that. Get me up there! Okay, we got it, we got it. That's nice that we got that. On the cliff overlooking the beach. And I don't think that our jump height is powerful enough that we can do anything crazy going over there, so let's continue this way. This will be a nice way to go. Okay, I didn't mean to ledge grab there. That did slow us down a little bit. And if there's one thing Sonic doesn't want, is to be slowed down. But, cool that we can make it up there. Can we get both of these power moons easily? <laughs> I'm not sure how easy these will be and how quick they'll be, if we can really speed it up by much. Because there is one right in there, but I think that that might be a bit far for us, actually. But wait a minute. Okay, I guess this is a kind of unique way to do it, since we can move so quickly. It's kind of nice. Can I go to there? Tell me we can make this jump, please. Oh, thank goodness there's ground there. I wasn't actually sure if there is ground there or not. But that's nice. Sunken treasure in the cloud sea. Now, what's the best way out of here? Because I'm not sure where the ground is around here. Let's just go like this. Then we could land here, okay. And I'm guessing we can just go straight like this. I'm not sure where there are any gaps, actually. Okay, that's fine. What is the challenge here supposed to be? I haven't done this place normally in a while, so I don't remember what is actually supposed to be difficult about this, but we can get out of here now. What else do we want? Oh, I know that there's one that we can get right here. We can get that one in a moment, but first, can I buy a power moon from you, please? Oh, please sell me a power moon. I'd like to buy a power moon, please. Let's see, what do you have? Yes, for 100 coins, we could buy one of these. That's fine, I'll take it. Okay, that's nice. Shopping in Bub Lane, and Bub Lane has to have one of the nicest themes in the game. Bub Lane has fantastic music. Now then, where do we want to go? I guess we'll take this. Was this going to be uncontrollably fast, though? Or is this just going to be normal speed? Oh, this actually just seems like normal speed. And where we want to go is right up there, and we should be able to get up there easily. Just jump. 
Oh, that wasn't as fast as I thought it'd be since we're jumping out of the water. I thought that we'd be moving more quickly. Okay, so we need three more power moons. Where can we get three power moons? Where else are there power moons in this kingdom? I haven't had to... Oh, excuse me, just coughing a bit. I haven't had to get any of the power moons in here for a while, so I actually don't remember where a lot of them are. Because the last few times that we played through this, we were able to either use some elements to help us get power moons in a weird way, or get some power moons in a different way. Okay, so let's come down here. Go like this. There's a power moon down here, right? Is there? Okay, yeah, I thought there was. Okay, so there's one for us. And we need two more. It's so weird seeing the cheap cheap without a hat. It's like something is missing on its head. Hair is missing. Okay, and wait. Did one of these here gives you a power moon, or did these just spawn... Or did these just spawn coins and enemies? There was a shiny spot around here somewhere, but where was it? Oh, and we could also go here. I know that there's gonna be a power moon here. There's gonna be a treasure chest hidden back here. I just go like this. Come on down. Get the treasure chest. Very nice. Now we just need one more. Oh, and it's funny seeing Sonic pop out of the cheap cheap. Sonic coming out of the fish. Okay, now there's one more that we need. Okay, nice that we defeated those. Now then, there's gotta be one around here somewhere, right? Where could it be? Where could it be? Wait. Can't be right here. No, this isn't the one, is it? No, that can't be it. That'd be too easy, okay. Is it this one? No, this one just gives more seaweed, right? Oh, that's the one. Okay, perfect. I guess we could take that. And now we can just teleport out of here under a dangerous ceiling. So let's go back to the Odyssey. And that's already enough power moons for this kingdom. That was quick. Next up is the Luncheon Kingdom. And you guys, you know what? I think that the Ruined Kingdom is actually going to be quite interesting. I think the way that we are going to take on the boss in the Ruined Kingdom could potentially be very interesting. Okay, and you know what? I would like to get up here. Because there is a nice power moon that we can get just back here. Oh man, I love how quickly we move. It really feels like we are moving at the kind of speed that Sonic moves at. It's not too crazy fast that we can't control it, but it definitely is much faster than how quickly Mario normally moves. And it is nice to be moving at a speed that is like what Sonic moves at. Oh, I was wondering why I couldn't throw Cappy there. The reason that we couldn't throw Cappy is because Cappy was still on the Scarecrow. So we can go, of course, like... This, and then that lets us up here easily. Then we can get this one. I love how quickly we move. It's so nice. I feel like I'm playing Sonic Frontiers almost. Okay, so where else do we want to go? There's a nice power moon for us right back here. If we go like this. Oh man, we can move so quickly through the kingdom. This is very nice. I think at least parts of this are like a kingdom that you do save time on by being quick because you know what there's some kingdoms okay something weird just happened something quite strange just happened oh no oh no oh no oh no okay something quite strange just happened my recording actually stopped just before this boss fight i actually beat this boss but luckily the game didn't save after i got it so now it's almost as if nothing actually happened and nothing went wrong assuming that this recording works because that was actually so strange, for some reason I must have accidentally hit stop recording. And it's a good thing that I noticed that, because otherwise, we would not have had the footage of me taking on this boss fight. And there we go, now we actually defeated the boss. Well, now we defeated the boss, and it is recorded, I should say. So now Sonic will be happy, Spirit is defeated again, a nice quick boss fight. And Sonic gets to be even more happy because he gets to collect this power moon right here not too shabby not too shabby that's a funny line okay now this might actually be tricky down here because down here i know how you get this power moon normally but what is it going to be like with our faster speed it's going to be a bit different for sure but how different will it be okay it doesn't seem like it's very different at all can we get back easily let's see whoa man wait should i try and go for that where's that moon Oh, that's- you have to collect a bunch of moonshine shards. Oh, man, how did I not get burned there? I thought I was running on lava for sure. All right, I guess we want to come back up this way. Oh, that was nice how that worked. Okay, now we can just come across here. Don't want to go too fast because I don't want to completely lose control, you know what I mean? Let's go like this. We can probably bounce up here. Yeah, and then we can get this easily. Oh, no, if we could just get the spot. There we go. Overlooking a bunch of ingredients. And there should be a nice moon that we could get in here. This is similar to the one that we got in the Metro Kingdom before. Let's see how good our timing is going to be this time. Last time we did it quite nicely. Okay, so let's see. After heart, that's when you go. Go. Yes, there we go. First try. Got them all. That's beautiful. I love when that happens. 
That happened the last time that we played Super Mario Odyssey also, when we were playing Mario Odyssey, but you could breathe fire. So where else are we going to go with our nice and fast speed here? You know what? Bring me up here. I'll come here. Happy? Go down there and break that. And I'll just get this powerman right here. Is it right above me? Oh, jump! Okay, perfect. We're able to get it just like that. That's beautiful. And wait a minute. I actually forgot about this power moon right here. In my last playthrough, I didn't get this one. Or in the last uh, mod that I was playing through, I should say. So let's, let's just throw that in there. Sonic, you don't have a very strong throw, but that's okay. This isn't Sonic Baseball that we're playing right now. It's Sonic Odyssey. You don't have to throw balls very hard. And now, hold on. I remember that we have to get up onto one of these. Oh, is it this one right here? Wow, I didn't expect that it would be that one. I thought that it was one of these, but I couldn't remember which one it was, actually. Okay, but yeah, sure, there's another one for us. Now we can just... Ah! Not do that, not do that, okay. Can I just jump across to there? It'd be very nice if we could just jump across to there. There's some way that we can do that. Okay, that's actually easier than I thought it would be. And you know what? Whoa, almost ran off, but let's catch this guy. It's so weird seeing him without a hat. This is so strange. Like, there's just a gap where something should be up there. He should have either some hair or a hat, but he has neither. Okay, so that opens up now, and now we should be able to get that very easily. How many more power moons do we need? Still quite a few, to be honest. I thought that we'd be much closer by now. Let's just light that up, not get burned, then get this power moon. Then there's the power moon just by find this mountain that we can grab also. So happy Sonic getting light the lantern on this small island. And I don't think that we'd be able to get up here right away. Oh, we're actually so close. We might be able to make it there. Let's see if we can do something better. Let's go one, two. Come on up, so close. So close, okay. I don't want to get damaged again because then we lose our max health boost. It would not be good if that happened because we do want our max health to be high. It's better when your max health is six rather than when it's three. Okay, and I guess if we come up here... Oh, nice. That does heal us. We can get three... Wait, 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 wait. Before we do this, let's come down here and find a nice place to land so that we can get that power boom. Beautiful. And you know what? Ah, where do we even teleport to? Because there's this checkpoint flag. You know, let's go back to this checkpoint flag. We're not going to take the meat yet. Because that meat, that does let you get a multi-moon quite quickly, but we don't actually want that yet. Where we want to go is, I guess, let's go this way. Oh, and we could have also gotten that checkpoint flag, but let's go here first. Oh, it's so nice how quickly we can move from place to place like this. And can we just go up like this? Make it! No, bro, come on! I guess we can do something like this. Now let me just wall jump off of that, and then you can easily make it and grab this right there. Perfect. Okay, now, can we make it down to that little salt island? The distance? Because there's one power moon that we could get there. Or we could just catch a lava bubble from here and then travel there with the lava bubble. Let's try this. Let's see how far we could go like this. Oh, no. Oh, no, and I'm getting burned. Let me land up here. Let me land up there. Let me land up there. No. No. We can't bounce up that high to make it onto that. That's so sad. Oh, actually, it's not that sad because we're so fast. So we can just make it back there in almost no time at all. And we can do something like this. Catch the lava bubble. Okay. I wasn't sure if I'd be making it to that platform or catching the lava bubble. But it looks like the option that we went for was catching the lava bubble. So that was a nice way to do that. So let's come out of here. Let's ground pound right there. Grab this power moon if we can get it. Then we're going to teleport back to where we just were a moment ago. Oh, we can't teleport because we are in the sky. Let's go like this. Teleport to there. Then we can grab the meat. And after capturing this slab of meat and twitching a bit, then we're going to get the multi moon. And then we're going to be able to go to the next kingdom. No problem. The bird grabs us. We end up here. And just with a simple jump, we can make it up there, no problem. Now we have enough power moons for this kingdom. So next, I believe, is the Ruin Kingdom. Happy is going to say that we're going to the Bowser Kingdom, but first we have to stop by the Ruin Kingdom and battle the dragon. And I really want to see what the dragon fight is going to be like. Okay, so that's enough of these. So let's go to the next kingdom. Wow, and our Odyssey is almost complete. Oh, and all of a sudden our ship is being attacked. What? We're shaking. Why? 
Sonic runs out, and look at what we see. It's gonna be Sonic. Oh, I actually forgot that it was Dr. Eggman up there. I'm so used to seeing Bowser up there. Yeah, so Dr. Eggman, instead of him having a giant robot today, he has a giant dragon. Unless this dragon is also mechanical and not a real dragon. And by real, I mean live animal dragon. Let's see you survive this plumber boy. Wait, why is Sonic plumber boy? Yeah, so we get attacked. The Odyssey is destroyed yet again. And we have to go to the Ruined Kingdom. Oh, look at Sonic getting zapped like that. That actually looked very funny. Okay, and down we go. We're crashing to the Ruined Kingdom. Okay, so... The thing that is most interesting to me about this upcoming boss fight, or the thing that is most catching my interest, is the fact that we'll be able to move so quickly. So I wonder what it will be like when those electric rings are going to be coming towards us. Let's see how this boss fight goes. Am I just going to be able to dodge everything very easily since we can move so quickly? Seems like I could just... Yeah, it seems that we'll be able to avoid these very, very easily. Because with our speed, we can just basically outrun all of this. The only thing that might be a bit of a trouble is these waves coming down like this. But even then, still not too much of a problem. And even if we're far away, then we can just run quickly up to the dragon man. Look at all the detail on this dragon. Okay, let's go like that. There we go. There's a nice hit on him. One hit. Hopefully we can get three hits without any trouble. Now what are you going to do? Ah, uh, you going to send out some more of those electric rings? wonder if we can do this damage list. This just seems incredibly easy when you can move this quickly. Look at that. Look at that. There's just no trouble at all. This is so easy when you can move this quickly. Okay, this is probably the hardest part, though. Because even with your faster speed, you do have to be careful where you go. And now it's easy here. This should be easy. All very, very easy. Just come here. Ground pound. Okay, nice. We didn't get hit by those guys. Those are called, I think, Burbos. Okay, now just one more hit to go. One more hit to go. Let's just keep making a number eight. Oh, well, let's focus on these now. And look at that. Even if they're chasing after me, I can just outrun them very, very easily. Oh, and that's it. Okay, for some reason, I thought that it would be more difficult. Whoa, boy. Okay, and now you can just take out these, I hope. Go. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, come back to me, Cappy. Come back, Cappy. Come back, go, Cappy. Go, and come on. There we go. Okay, we managed to get it in time. Very nice. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to. I was a bit more worried when we played Mario Odyssey, but we can breathe fire because that fight was a little bit closer, but this also went fine. And now we can just collect this power moon right here, and then we can go to the Bowser Kingdom, and we're going to be almost done the game soon. Wait, is it going to be the Bowser Kingdom, or is it going to be the Dr. Eggman Kingdom? Here we are, the Bowser Kingdom! So, this is it, the showdown, and look at that. Oh, I thought that we'd be able to just take the roof there. Okay, look out, Goombas. I'm just running by you all, because we're going here. It's so nice that we can move so quickly. We can just blast through so much of this quite quickly. Okay, and you know what? I'm actually going to capture one of these Pokios, because I'm not sure how many of the Power Moons we need in this kingdom, but there's a Power Moon for us right back here. That's a nice one to grab behind the big wall. Let's just poke this wall and come on up. It's so cool how you can just shake the controller like that and then you bounce out. Okay, let's go here. Very nice. Moving quite quickly. Okay, now we do want to go and ground pound on top of this guy's thing. Oh, and you know what? Let's... Ah, I was gonna say let's get that because we'll be able to do that quickly, but I don't know if we'll be able to recover this and make it back up or if we're just going lower and lower. Let's see. Okay, yeah, looks like we're dead. If this was Super Mario 3D World, we would have been able to recover that. And right now, it feels a bit like I'm playing Super Mario 3D World sped up, because I'm so used to, uh... Well, not I'm so used to, but I had a lot of videos in the past playing Super Mario 3D World, but every level makes you faster. That was a fun series to do. Okay, so that is a Power Moon here for us. Now, let's just come on over to this guy. Try and squish me, try and squish me. I am so fast, I can move at the last possible second, and you wouldn't be able to get me. But... Do I have enough control to ground pound on your head? And luckily I do. Now give me the power moon. Now please, power moon spawn right in me. Perfect, okay, that's so funny that we know where the power moon's going to spawn. Then you just stand there so that you could collect it. It's like what Super Mario 64 speedrunners do when they know where a star is going to spawn. Okay, now we have access to some more of the Bowser Kingdom. I don't, oh, don't climb up that. What if we climb up? Okay, yeah, we get burned right away, of course, okay. Gotta be careful, Sonic. You gotta be careful where you go and what you do, okay? Okay, so we can get that. That just heals us up. That's fine. There's one of those for us. Here's 
another one of those for us. And hold on. I think we also want to get up here, if I remember correctly. You know what? Let's get this guy. Oh, there, my little Pokio friend. Just come on up here. It's a nice place to go, isn't it? Right, we can get this one here. But now we need two more. So where are the last two going to be? There's one in there. We could go like that. You get that one. And of course, you want to break... Aye! And as I was saying, of course, you want to break that one there. Stick your nose in here, you know, they say. Don't stick your nose into other people's business, but it's all right to stick your nose into other holes. Just poking that turret wall there. That's how you can get a power moon like that. Now, where's the last one that we need? Because we got four of the five. But where's the fifth one? Where's the fifth one? Have I forgotten where it is? It's got to be somewhere around here, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, it's that one back there. All the way back here. And look, even though it takes quite a bit of time to get here. Oh, I am standing over the fire. I probably need to move. Otherwise, I'm going to be burned. So let's go. What a nice dive. Okay. And now, even though we're all the way back here, it isn't going to take us too long to make it back to where that power moon is. Just because of all of this speed that we have. And there we go, we're back at the power moon already. So if that gate opens up for us, and in a moment, we're gonna have some more boss fights. And then after that, we're going to have even more boss fights. But wait, but first, I think there might be a power moon for us up here, if I remember correctly. Yes, there it is. Perfect, that's the one that we need. And I think, whoa, boy. Yeah, I'm wondering if we have enough power moons to go to the next kingdom. I don't know how many we need. I'm guessing we don't need this one. I'm just gonna skip that one because that one takes a moment to do. So let's just carry on. And over here, we're going to have some boss fights now. So let's do this boss fight first. This one will be Harriet. And wait, we haven't done Harriet yet. We didn't face her in the Sand Kingdom. I was gonna say Desert Kingdom. Let's see, where's your head? Where's your head? Where's your head? Okay, we're actually so fast that it's a bit difficult to land on some of them. But you know what we should be able to do? When she goes over like that, when she runs away somewhere, we should be able to catch her quite quickly like this, which will be nice. Okay, let's get ready. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, take a step back. And go like this. Nope, that missed. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I gotta try again. Try again. Okay, let's go like this. I'll go like that, and that'll get her. Now just go land on her head. There we go. Okay. Now wherever you run to, I'll be able to catch up to you very quickly. So just try and run somewhere. Try and run somewhere. I can go like that right away. I was so fast that I ran into the explosion. I didn't think that would happen. Okay, now let's just take a step back. Okay, that should get you. Now just land on your head wherever it is. There we go, and you are defeated. That's perfect. Goodbye, my little rabbit friend. Farewell. And one of the two statues break. And we just have to defeat the other boss. And then we'll get the other statue to break. And then we'll be able to continue on. So this fight is probably actually going to be a bit more difficult than the previous one. Let's see. Unless we can just get that cap very quickly. Wait, was it this one or the one beside it? I don't know if it was this one. Oh, no, that's not the one I meant. I meant this one. Yeah, that must be the one then, since it didn't break when we threw Happy at it, and it's this one here, right there. Oh no, you know, I'm actually just gonna go for the heart then. I'll take the heart. That'll be nice. Okay, now let's see. Stop, 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 stop. Let me jump on your head. Come, come, give me your head. There we go, you little rabbit munchkin. Okay, now where are you? You are this one right here. Yeah, all right, we got him right away. Okay, that's amazing. Oh, step back. Okay, one HP only. That's okay though, that's okay. Go, 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 go. Now just get his head. Get his head, get his head, get his head. There we go. I'm so glad that those little green hats didn't finish me off. And now that this rabbit is gone, that statue is destroyed. We get the power moon. When we get the power moon, we'll be able to continue through the gate. And soon we're going to face the final boss of the Bowser Kingdom. So let's just grab that right there. Perfect. And what's Sonic going to say? Yeah, aced it. Yeah, cheesecake. Okay, we finally reached the main courtyard. So now we can make our way up this way and up this way. It seems like our movement is really quite unconventional. Very, very unconventional the way that we're moving here. And you know what? I actually am going to capture one of these guys right here because I think that will make our life a little bit easier. And you know what? I don't know if I need this guy to squish this box. I'm going to ask you to come here, sir. Come here, sir. Come. Come to me, sir. Come to me, sir. Please come here. Please come here. No, come here. Come here. Bro, bro, bro. Look, I'm right here. Come. Come. Right there. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Okay, because now we can get this power moon. I'll get this power moon because I don't know how many we actually need to make it to the next kingdom. So I am getting a few here. Okay, let me up there, please. Thank you. 
let me up here. Let me out of the way. Thank goodness he didn't squish us. That's very nice. Now let's just make our way up. And it's so weird seeing this bird without a hat. Oh, okay, let's go up a bit higher. Perfect. Come on up there. Oh, bro. Okay, I tried to rush a little bit and that's what happens. You know they say? Taste amounts to waste. And let me up here. Now let me up here. There we go. Now just bring me up here. Bring me up some more. Perfect. Okay, let's get out of that little pokey bird there. And and by pokey bird, I don't mean pokey in the sense of Pokemon. I mean pokey as in pokey is short for Pokio, the name of that bird. Okay, now Sonic's gonna run up here. Oh, and every time I see Dr. Eggman, I'm always surprised that it's him. Why does he have his hat like that? That's not how you're supposed to wear a hat. I think hats are normally worn differently. Peach is like, what is he doing wearing this hat like this? Yeah, that really is quite the strange way to wear a hat. <laughs> and he's laughing, he goes, oh, I can wear my hat however I want. You're too late. And his hand isn't connected to his arm either, which is kind of funny. It's so funny how rigging works in this game. I really like when things are a bit messed up like this because sometimes it is quite funny to see. But yeah, here's Sonic running towards Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman punches us off like that! So now we're gonna have to face a different boss. We're gonna have to find a different way to get to the moon if we want to get Princess Peach back from Dr. Eggman. Okay, and you know what? This boss might actually be slightly tricky. Not extremely tricky, but slightly, slightly tricky. Okay, let's go like this. Okay, and... Hey, you fell over on me, bro! What is this madness? Come on, bro. Okay, let's go. Bring me up. And let's just go like this. Poke, 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 There we go, one defeated. And can I get up onto the next one? Can I ground pound on you right now? Please let me back. Let me back on. Yes! Okay, amazing. Okay, let's ground pound on this one. That's great. And let's go like this. Can I ground pound on this one? Please let me back on. Please let me back on. And yes! Okay, we made it back on. Okay, this is actually going amazingly. It's going so, so well. Going very, very, very well. Are you gonna stop in a moment? Just stop, 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 stop running around. This is enough running around. You've done enough running around. Hey, okay, I'm just ready to go right here and... No! Why would you move? Why would you do this? How could you do this to me? How could you do this? How could you do this? Okay, now I want that heart. I want that heart. Give me that heart. Let me have that heart. Let me have the heart. Nice, there we go, we got the heart. Okay, now give me a little birdie. That's what I need. Need that little birdie right there, okay? Oh boy, I can't return that one, can I? Nope. That's fine. Okay, just send out some bombs to me so I can take out your legs, I guess. Oh, maybe Sonic himself can jump high enough to make it up there? But I don't know about that. Okay, let's see. Bro, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Okay, there we go. Now you fall over. Fall over, okay, very good. Now let me climb up here. And let me do this. Let's go like this. Ground pound on this guy. And stay up here. And where are you? No, no, let me up one more time. Come on. Perfect. Okay, now just let me get the ground pound on the last guy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. When can I do it? When can I do it? When will I have a good moment? Maybe when it starts flashing white. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Let me up! Let me up! No! I thought we would be able to make it back up, but we bonked. Oh my goodness. And we're almost dead. Okay, you know what? I gotta find some health then. Let's go over to this rock here. That should give us some health, right? Perfect. Imagine if we died to this boss. How sad would that be? Okay, give me a bird now. That's good. Give me the bird. Hey, okay, now watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, let's go like that. There's one hit on the leg. We need one more hit on that leg. You need to stop setting up these spinning firecrackers that damage us. This isn't a Mr. Beast video where we try and see the biggest fireworks in the world or something. This is Super Sonic Odyssey. That's what we're playing right now. Oh, no. Go. I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. And another bird came out. Don't squish me! Can I reach that? Where can I go to make it? Come on, I'm so scared because we're almost dead. Let me up here. And just let me ground pound on you. Now are you defeated? That's got to be the last one, right? Thank goodness! Okay, now please tell me I'm not going to die to one of the Pokios or an explosion or something. Just let me collect the Power Moon so we can be on our way, please. I'd love that. Team Brutal's blasting off again! And then there are fireworks, and it's the Brutals. Guys, if you know what that is making a reference to, let me know in a comment. Team Rocket blasting off again.
Okay, so there we go. We managed to get the multi-moon. I'm so glad that that worked. I was worried that we might have died before getting that. But now we can go to the final kingdom. This will be very exciting. And what's Sonic gonna say? That's cool. Okay, now, wait, do we have enough power moons? I hope that we do. I don't know how many it said we need, but hopefully we have enough. Hopefully we can go to the moon kingdom and we'll be able to complete the game in a moment. Well, not a moment, but in a little bit. Hooray! I guess that must mean that we have enough. And now, the Odyssey should be fully restored, right? And? The Odyssey is complete. It's not fully restored, it's complete. That's the phrasing that they use. So weird seeing this, because I didn't change the tuxedo outfit. So it's just Sonic's face, but the rest of it is Mario. From behind, it looks like it's just Mario, but then you turn around and you go, Hello. It almost looks like a Dr. Sonic over here. That actually kind of fits well. But we're gonna go with the normal Sonic outfit. What if Dr. Mario never existed, but there was Sonic, or sorry, Sonic Mario, but there was Dr. Sonic. What if Dr. Sonic existed? Oh, oh, and your speed on the moon is also different. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna have moon gravity for a little bit. And we don't have crazy fast speed, so I think we are going to go and do the Sphinx skip. I think it would be nice to go and do the Sphinx skip, because that would be a nice way to save some time. Assuming that it doesn't take us a crazy long time to get the Sphinx skip to work, because you can't always get it to work on the first try unless you're very good. And I'm not incredibly good at it. In fact, I haven't tried this trick in quite a while. So some of you that haven't seen this trick, Yet, you're gonna be in for a nice surprise. Here Those of goes. you that have seen it, well, you're going to see how many tries it takes for me to get it. If we could get it quickly, that'd be very nice. This was incredibly, diff incredibly difficult in Shadow Clone Odyssey. Okay, so how does this work? You do something like this. Let's go. And? Ah, I didn't get the second wall jump, that is so sad. we go finally okay i don't know what i was doing wrong but i must have been doing something wrong because that took me way too many attempts to get but now we can get this checkpoint flag so now it's not going to be a problem anymore and now sonic can of course roll up here and you know sonic does have a kind of quick rolling attack like this too in sonic games this is quite the fitting attack that we are doing. And you know what? I think that the final boss, Bowser, over here, or well, I guess Dr. Eggman, I think that it's actually going to be relatively easy. Oh, and look at this, Sonic bursting through the door here. It's ready to save Princess Peach on there, Cappy's eyes. Oh, and yeah, every time I'm just surprised when it's Dr. Eggman instead of Bowser. He looks so angry, doesn't he? And why is everyone else also here on the moon? Yeah, that's right. Sonic's here to stop you, Dr. Eggman. His head looks relatively normal right now. And look at Peach. He goes, Sonic, you came to save me! And look at this hand reaching over, the hand not attached to the arm. <laughs> Bowser has such an evil laugh. And here's Sonic with everyone at the wedding behind him. Looks like his head is slowly retreating into his body. Oh, he stomps his foot, and down we go! Sonic can't fly, he doesn't know the attack fly. Happy tries to lift us up, but Sonic is too heavy, and we get dropped, and down we go. All right, Dr. Eggman, I'm ready to battle you! Whoa, whoa, I didn't realize that we did that. Hey, but where are you going now? Are you gonna run here? Next, you're gonna run here. Oh, I thought that we'd be fast enough to be able to just make it to him right away. But yeah, whoa, whoa, look at what's happening when he's getting punched. Hey, let's go around. Okay, you fell over. Oh my goodness, he looks like he's really getting beaten up. Dr. Eggman, he looks quite fragile, doesn't he? I think that he does look quite fragile right now, okay? And how is Dr. Eggman blowing fire? Is anyone going to ask that question? Where's the fire coming from? Where's the fire coming from? Where's this fire coming from, Dr. Eggman? He probably has some kind of machine that releases fire. Okay, let's go like this. Let's just get that one. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. Oh, get the hat. Now, where are you going, Dr. Eggman? Where are you going, my little Eggy Wiggy friend? Where are you going, my little Eggy Wiggy Eggy man? Okay, and he didn't even have a chance to throw any boulders at us. Just because... Just because we are so fast over there, we know where he's going, and we can move so quickly that we can try and lure him one way, and then basically try and avoid him as best as we can. Hey, okay, let's just avoid the fire. Hey, okay, now come back, fire. Oh, oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. This seems like it's an attack that's very easy to avoid, but there are times where I actually have gotten damaged by that fire. We do want to be a little bit careful. Okay, so let's see. Where are we going to go now? Now it's going to be multiple rounds. Go like that. 
This. And that's the one that we want. No! I actually didn't get it. That is so incredibly sad. Okay, do we at least get a heart here? Okay, at least we got a heart there, if we can get the heart. Oh! Oh, and I didn't realize that it's round two already. Okay, so let's see. How did you get me again, bro? How? How is this happening? Okay, so it looks like we actually do want to be a little bit careful. We can't just rush in. We need some kind of strategy here. Where are you? 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 Oh boy, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. So sad. So sad. Very, very sad. So sad. Okay, let's focus. How many times are you going to use this hat trick? Huh? Three times or more? Or less? Come, come, come. There we go. Finally, we can have this hat. Okay, now let's go this way because we know that he's going to be running this way. So that means that he's going to run to here, right? Oh, no. We tricked him. Well, he tricked us kind of. He went back that way. Now, this should be the final hit on him. We might just have to dodge his tail like this. Okay. And there's just going to be one more tail dodge after this. And is that it? And there we go. Dr. Eggman has been defeated. Look at how lanky he is. Oh, is he okay? Okay, I was worried that the game would freeze or crash after that. Where did his head go? We knocked his head right off of his body. Dr. Eggman, okay? Yeah, his head is just gone. Dr. Eggman, are you okay? Okay, time for Sonic to save Princess Peach. Oh, we look very blue over here. Our face looks very blue. But now, we end up in this area. And yeah, Bowser's head is just gone. So let's capture him. And now... We are Dr. Eggman! Oh boy, I'm sure that there are a lot of people that were just very excited for this part of the video ever since the beginning of the video. But now, look at this. Look at our hands. Look at how we slash through this. That's quite funny playing here as Dr. Eggman. Not who you normally play as. And we can, of course, charge up our fire breath. And we can do fire attacks like that, which is very exciting. Okay, so we might do some more fire attacks in a moment, depending on what's going to be ahead of us. Can I come up here? Come on! Oh, no, we couldn't make it up there. That is so sad. So sad. Very, very sad. Okay, but we should be able to go here. There we go. Did a nice fire blast attack on that. Just like Charizard. And... Or like a Blaziken. Or a Quilava. Okay, let's come in here. And look what we are! We are Dr. Eggman in 2D! How cool is that? Wow. Who would have thought that this would have been changed? Yeah, so just a cupcake changed this too and made this a functional character so we're playing as dr eggman right now instead of bowser even in the 2d section how cool is that okay so now we can just get up here get on up and there we go let's just blast some more fire over there oh want to slash through this with our metal claws they okay, charge up on fire blast that fire oh i was hoping that we'd be able to blast some more fire but we could just slash through here and slashing through this almost final wall and now we can see the earth in the distance. Now, hopefully we don't die here. It'd be very sad if we died here. Because yeah, we are carrying Princess Peach with us. And if we die here, if we fall off, I think we have to restart from the very beginning of this Bowser section. It would be incredibly sad. It'd be incredibly sad if we would have to do that. Okay, but we just want to charge up our fire. And hopefully we can get some nice attacks on that before we make it to it. Oh, oh, we got hit, but that's okay. That's fine. Be careful to not fall off. That's the most important thing. Just don't fall off. Don't fall off. Okay, go. And... Go, 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 go. Come on, why aren't you attacking? Why did you stop? Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Have to make it to the last one now. Uh-oh. 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 Don't fall. 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 Okay, and now after this, we just have to make it to the center. Let's see. Are we okay? Let's just see. Where are we going? Oh, no. These are starting to fall. We gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Okay. Our HP is getting a bit low. But that's okay. Just don't get crushed. Okay, now attack the cube! Why did the GameCube not sell as many copies as the Wii and the Nintendo 64? So we attack that, and now, with our Dr. Eggman over here, of course, we're Dr. Eggman and Princess Peach. Now we can get up here. Oh, and all of a sudden you see Bowser. And let's make our way back here, and let's see who's going to pop out of this amp. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Come on, let's go. Why are we not going? Tell me it's not going to get stuck, is it? Okay, good. It looks like it didn't get stuck. So off we fly, and we're still going to be on the moon for a moment. And I think all of us are going to pop out now. It's going to be Dr. Eggman and Sonic, right? And Princess Peach, of course, also. So it looks like Bowser and Peach. But, oh, Dr. Eggman landed on his head. Now his head is gone. Here's Sonic. Princess Peach gently flows down. Where's Dr. Eggman's head? Did we leave his... That's so strange! Look at Sonic and Peach just coming here. Dr. Eggman's head is gone. Where is your head? Did his head fall off in the... When we landed here? That was... Okay, guys, this isn't the time to be celebrating. Dr. Eggman's head is gone. 
Guys, this is not giving a good lesson over here. This isn't a time to celebrate. Princess Peach looks so happy. Wait, she's a bit concerned. She's like, wait a minute. Dr. Eggman's head is gone. Is his head going to be back all of a sudden? His head is back all of a sudden. He goes, ha ha, I was just hiding my head. Now I have these flowers for you. Sonic's like, mamma mia, I got this flower for you. Now they're seeing. Peach is going to go, you know what? The one that I really want is Mario, not Dr. Eggman or Sonic. Sorry, you guys are in the wrong franchise. Sorry, the one that I really want is Mario. They both turn slowly like that. Peach goes, all right, let's go back to Earth now. What a cool cutscene, dude, the way that you can see this. Ah, oh, poor Sonic and Dr. Eggman. They're consoling each other. But Peach goes, all right, it's time to go back to Earth. Now Sonic's gonna run back to Earth and we're gonna leave Dr. Eggman on the moon, right? Bye. I'd like to go there, please. I'd like to go there, please. And Sonic is running, so is Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman looks a bit slower, because Sonic has to be faster than Dr. Eggman, because he's so fast, right? Bounces off of Dr. Eggman, leaves Dr. Eggman behind, and here's Sonic. I really recommend you watch my video where we play Super Mario Odyssey, but Mario can breathe fire. It is an incredibly cool ability, and you can do funny things with it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.